This is a, a video intended for the Barney Rubble Syndicate. Well guys, Barney Rubble's been uh, humming along since his debut at Tryon a couple of weeks ago. Uh, he pulled up really well from the, the one star there and um, you know, just the last few weeks we've been jumping him a bit, working on his dressage and uh, a little bit more fitness work. And um, Great thing now is it's starting to warm up a little bit with the temperature, so Barney's not so wild when I ride him. Uh, he's also being turned out in a, in a big paddock for most of the day, and uh, he loves it. So anyway, today we took him to MCTA Horse Trials, and MCTA is a little bit of a rinky-dink horse trial down in, in Maryland. Uh, we put him in the open training division. Uh, this is probably one or two levels lower than what Barney's capable of, but I'm still sort of just making sure that his, his legs are in good good neck and also that, you know, this first sort of six months of our partnership, we're really getting to know each other. So trying to take him to competitions where it's a little bit easy for him with the understanding that um, if something little went wrong, uh, the jumps aren't that big or we don't have to go that fast. And good thing with MCTA is it's it's always good footing there it's it's really really thick turf had a little bit of rain a couple nights ago so that the footing was great so the big thing um, for Barney in the dressage is trying to really get him to drop his neck and be round and you can see in this stretching circle it's a little bit better than the stretching circle that we had at try on but it, he still needs to let go a little bit a little bit more and you know the f first part of this year um, you know I was really getting to know him and, and ever since try on I feel like we're really starting to train him and you know moving him sideways and bending him and softening him laterally and trying to get him quite loose especially through the, the base part of his neck Obviously, he's a fantastic mover and got beautiful paces, and uh, he's lovely to ride. So he did a, a good dressage test. We scored a, a 24.8, um, pretty good score. Uh, like I said before, I wasn't too worried about the the actual result uh, today. It was more just a good performance a confident performance and it was a good course for him we got a little bit of the show jumping in the cross country here it was quite easy for him to be quite frank um, the, the jumps are a little bit small and the, we didn't have to go that fast and I, was to, I will say going back to his dressage is eventually he will put in an unbelievable test and uh, I've been lucky enough to ride some top top horses over the years at the, the highest level and Barney has all the ingredients to um, to do a chipmunk test uh, now it's going to require a lot of training and um, education and practice on my part but he's he's, he's got the uh, the criteria he's got wonderful paces he's got that championship look the movement and he's also got the mindset, like he's a, a little bit of a difficult horse mentally, like he's a bit, a little bit sort of keen and forward thinking and, you know, every now and then when he's feeling fresh, he'll throw in a buck or rear, but I don't know, something apart, part of me when I feel him riding in, in the cross country, he feels like he'd jump anything. So that was our, um, our dressage test. We've got a nine actually for our second movement. This is the show jumping, and like I said before, this um, training level show jumping is nothing for Barney. I'm obviously, um, intentionally aimed him or, or entered him in this slightly easier class. Just um, it's more just the uh, the exercise of going through the event, and uh, I felt like he jumped a little bit more relaxed than he did at Tryon. Obviously, Tryon was a a little bit more of an electric arena with the grandstands and what and MCTA is just out in the field but he, I don't know, he jumped well every now and then he still puts his head up quite high I, I don't think I'll ever be able to completely change that but he loves sort of jumping his fences with his ears high 
So I've got him entered for a, a dressage show down at Great Meadow in a couple of weeks. And then I'm also going to meet um, my jumping coach, Peter Wild, at Princeton Show Jumping a couple of times next month. And again, I feel like the more we get him out and get him exposed, the, um, the better he'll get. Because he does get a little bit nervous and tense at the shows. Um, the next event I think we should do, we should do a preliminary event. I might enter him for, there's one up in New Jersey in about three or four weeks time. And I've just got to be prepared to um, withdraw him if the ground's hard. I promise myself that we're not going to run him on hard ground this year. I saw a big long distance of this jump. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Um, so yeah, and then I think um, Great Meadow has a really good um, two-star short. I think that's in August. So uh, we'll try and fit one more preliminary horse trial in before then. And with a bit of luck, uh, nature will hopefully um, make sure that uh, we get a bit of rain. And uh, the good thing with the dressage and show jumping shows is that we're always on soft footing. So guys, everything's going to plan at the moment. Um, I'm absolutely thrilled with him. And uh, I really think that he has the potential to be a great, great, great horse.